Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health and mind and body, strength in their commitment protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen.
we fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. So welcome to this celebration of the Eucharist. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Blaise, a third century bishop and martyr, and uh, popular for uh, being an intercessor for ailments of the throat. No? So we'll have a simple blessing uh, at, towards the end of this Mass. So let us begin this Eucharist, as we always do, mindful of the many ways by which we are always in need of God's mercy, of God's healing. And we ask, we beg for God's forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us yourself to feed us and to give us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. When the time of David's death drew near, he gave these instructions to his son Solomon. I am going the way of all flesh. Take courage and be a man. Keep the mandate of the Lord your God, following his ways, and observing his statutes, commands, ordinances, and decrees, as they are written in the law of Moses, that you may succeed in whatever you do, wherever you turn, and the Lord may fulfill the promise he made on, on my behalf when he said, If your sons so conduct themselves, that they remain faithful to me with their whole heart and with their whole soul, you shall always have someone of your line on the throne of Israel. David rested with his ancestors and was buried in the city of David. The length of David's reign over Israel was 40 years. He reigned seven years in Hebron and 33 years in Jerusalem. Solomon was seated on the throne of his father David with his sovereignty 
firmly establish. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, you are exalted over all. Lord, you are exalted over all. Blessed may you be, O Lord, God of Israel, our Father, from eternity to eternity. Lord, you are exalted over all. Yours, O Lord, are grandeur and power, majesty, splendor, and glory. Lord, you are exalted over all. Lord, you are exalted over all. Yours, O Lord, is the sovereignty. You are exalted as head over all. Riches and honor are from you. Lord, you are exalted over all. In your hand are power and might. It is yours to give grandeur and strength to all. Lord, you are exalted over all. Alleluia, alleluia. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus summoned the twelve and began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over unclean spirits. He instructed them to take nothing for the journey but the walking stick, no food, no sack, no money in their belts. They were, however, to wear sandals, but not a second tunic. He said to them, wherever you enter a house, stay there until you leave from there. Whatever place does not welcome you or listen to you, leave there and shake the dust off your feet in testimony against them. So they went off and preached repentance. The twelve drove out many demons and they anointed with oil many who were sick and cured them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Submit to God lovingly. We are invited by our readings, especially the Gospel, uh, to consider how we are constantly uh, on mission. We are being sent by God. That this is our life, whether we are... uh, so-called professional missionaries, or not. By our identity as Christians, by our identity as children of God, we are on mission. And this passage, where, which describes Jesus sending out um, his 12 two by two, it describes the manner of being on mission, and which is precisely you know, submitting ourselves to God in love, lovingly, in acts of love. Uh, it also is uh, a theme in the first reading. David here uh, is he's being described as um, uh, approaching his death and uh, giving his final words to his son Solomon, who was taking over from him. And there's this line that uh, is very, it captures no, what he was trying to say. He says, uh, which is, quoting uh, the prophet who, who gave the promise of the Lord to him. If your sons, no, addressed to David, if your sons so conduct themselves that they remain faithful to me with their whole heart and with their whole soul, you shall always have someone of your line on the throne of Israel. If they remain faithful to me with, your, with their whole heart, whole soul, to be faithful to God, to submit oneself completely to God. But this submission to God is not one that is simply passive. It is a submission that is done at the same time as in tension with our own activity, a life of activity for God. But to engage in that activity, always mindful of how God is beside us is within us, is leading us. And to then give ourselves completely into that activity, knowing that we are not doing it for ourselves, we are doing it for God, out of love, out of faith. Also calls to mind this beautiful line from St. Paul in his second letter to the Corinthians, we walk by faith, 
not by light. And what is it to say that we walk by light, you know, which is what walking by faith um, is, is uh, kind of opposed to? When we walk by light, we are using our own eyesight, our own faculties, our own power, as it were, to move forward, to engage, to act. But that is then a way of engagement that leaves little room or no room at all for the Spirit, for God. Rather, we walk by faith, not completely relying on our own abilities and our own powers. But we engage our powers. We are active. We don't remain passive. We don't sit down. We don't lie down. Rather, we act, we move, but constantly aware that we are doing so under the guidance of, under the power of God whom we believe and whom we love. So let us, pa- let us pray for this grace, no? that we will submit ourselves, but in a very active manner, such that everything we do in our lives no matter how simple, everything we do, we engage in it, not by our own strength, not by our own inspiration, but always because we believe this is what we are called to do, because we believe, even if it looks like it's completely impossible and overwhelming, we believe that God is behind us. God will make whatever mission we are engaged in Succeed. It is not on us. And yet, because God calls us to, like the disciples, we give ourselves completely. Not fearful, not in despair, but always in love and in faith. God the Father has invited us to be his ministers to spread the good news of salvation. We pray for the grace to recognize the dignity of our mission and the necessary strength to carry it out. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. That the Pilgrim Church may inspire people to renew their lives by faithfully bearing witness to Christ in word and deed, we pray. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. That the work of missionaries in foreign lands may be rewarded with an abundant harvest, we pray. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. That parents may persevere in their vocation of handing on the faith to their children, we pray. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. That we may show care, sympathy, love, and understanding to those who are weighed down by life's misfortunes, we pray. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. That those who have died may be freed from the troubles of this world and enjoy everlasting peace, we pray. Lord, Lord, hear hear our prayer. For those celebrating their birthdays, Lorraine Quijano, Sally Gamo, Jopay Badoy, Violeta Balagtas, and Father Celerino Ignacio Reyes of the Society of Jesus, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For the healing of Aga Camarata, Anacleto Badoy Jr., and Emily Coaso, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the repose of the souls of Jebeline de los Santos, Purificacion Cara, Leticia Carasig, Eduardo Capistrano Abaya, and Dr. Jose Marin Sr., we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. For the special intentions of Ali and Javi Tan, Gab Karasig, Mandy Anderson, Basti and Aina Laxon and family, Sam Rayala, Jeron Gabriel Sandico Season, the MIC sisters, and Paulo Antonio, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for all the intentions sent to our Facebook pages at Jescom and Radio Katipunan. We pray. Lord, hear hear our prayer. Lord God, in you we trust. You have chosen us in Christ to proclaim the love you have shown us. Make us true to the message of the gospel. 
We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, Holy Father, the offerings we bring in commemoration of your holy martyr, Blaise, and grant that we, your servants, may be found steadfast in confessing your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyr, Blaze, poured out like Christ's to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through our Lord Jesus Christ. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, all the clergy, all who minister to your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Blaise, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Together now we pray as Jesus taught us. 
Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold, Jesus, the Lamb of God, he who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are we who have been invited to his banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in your holy martyrs have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. So at this point, uh, we shall bless... Uh, those who have uh, ailments in the throat and uh, we rely on the intercession of St. Blaise and as we always do we uh, express our faith in, in a God who, who really uh, is looking after us and wants what is good for us and so in that faith we come before God Through the intercession of St. Blaise, Bishop and Martyr, may God deliver you from ailments of the throat and from all other evil. 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So once more, thank you for joining us uh, today, this morning. And as we always do, we uh, pray for each other. We pray that we may always be faithful in love, in service. The Lord be with you. And And with with your spirit. And the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Eucharist is ended. Let us go glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. Thank you.